Hey gang, Scott Davenport here, and we are gonna put Plotograph Pro to work for us, create an animation from a, a, a nice, pleasing sunrise we have here out in the Anza Borrego Desert in Southern California. So I've loaded this photo into Plotograph. It's a single JPEG image, and I've got a new project. And so we're gonna start with working down our tools on the left-hand side. Now first, I wanna choose the areas to mask and areas to animate. So area to mask, we're not going to have any motion in this foreground. So just draw like a lazy stroke through there. And right now I've, I fundamentally have nothing being animated. Let's now choose an area to animate, which is going to be the sky. So, you know, the sky area is going to get animated. And we get a pretty nice you know, line there. Uh, Plotograph did a good job about masking that. Let's now go to the feather tool right there. And we'll get a look at what we're working with. Uh, I, yeah, this is a, a trippy interface. I actually prefer to work with the foreground view. It kind of gives me a better a better look at, at the mask. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of increase that feather a little bit so that we're uh, not going to have any type of glitching along the edges of the mountains. And if we do, we've got tools to fix that up as well. Now to actually add in the animation, we need to add a few animation points. We'll get the animation points tool and we'll have add points and I'm just going to click and drag and kind of just follow a few of these cloud lines. When you have lines in the image, those are nice to follow. And I'm doing short lines, which means my animation is going to be a little slower. And this is a, this is a pretty calm, serene uh, scene and I don't want to have, you know, whipping skies going all the way across things. Maybe one or two lines over here, something like that. And from here, we can now test out our animation. I'm going to double check my animation settings. And I have three seconds for my length, which I like. So when I share to Instagram, it's ready to go. Six frames a second for the preview is good because now when I press the play button and Plotograph goes off and generates this preview, it'll show me a, a decent rendering of the animation. And let's see, it should be almost done. It takes maybe 10 seconds or so. All right, and that's looking really nice. We've got some nice drifting going across the sky. Now these couple of vertically oriented clouds, those are getting kind of glitchy and they, they don't quite mesh with the rest of the animation. So let's fix that up. We'll go back over to our masking brushes. And so I'm gonna use a masking brush. I'm using the bracket keys just to kind of shrink the size of the brush there. And I'm gonna do a kind of just a lazy painting over that one and a lazy painting over this one as well. There we go. I may need to tighten that up on the bottom here. Let's go ahead and try another preview. And this is kind of how I work with the tool. I'll get my basics done, the you know, separation of what's moving, what's not moving, generate a preview, try it out, and see what needs to be tweaked and fine-tuned. So let's come back, and here we go. And so this, this cloud on the left is looking really good. On the right, I got a little more tightening up we're going to need to do. So let's take care of that. I'll use the zoom tool this time on the right hand side and we'll go in about here. That looks pretty good. And I can use the hand tool to move around. Or if you've got a, uh, a device where you can, you know, kind of scroll, like I'm using a trackpad and I can use two fingers to move around, I can do that directly without having to have the hand tool in use. So if I zoomed in to say 180, you know, I have a different tool active. I can just drag around with it. Let's grab our masking brush. I'm gonna use the eraser this time and tighten in a little bit on this wisp of cloud and just kind of shave off the edges of that mask some. And that top part over there, maybe a little bit here. I saw some of the, the clouds kind of dragging and drifting off there, something like that. Now I'm gonna leave it zoomed in while I generate this preview. And I'm gonna show you because this is really helpful. You can stay zoomed in and you'll be able to watch your animation at a you know, 200, 300, 500 magnification and really see what's going on. So here we go, we've got this going on here. Still looks like a little bit of fuzziness in that area, at least for my tastes. And I can now see I've also got a little bit going on 
at this, this ridge line here. So I definitely want to fix that up. This is an advantage of being able to work zoomed in. So masking brush again, we're going to mask this time. Let's go ahead and take care of the, uh, the ridge line here. So I'll just do a nice big stroke over this part. I don't need to have every little morsel of the sky moving there. And then here I will trim in. I'm going to press the X key, which toggles my mask brush. So there's lots of keyboard shortcuts to really speed things up. And I'll review a lot of those in another video when we kind of get into advanced editing. That's where the these keyboard shortcuts really become handy because you can just be much more speedy about what's going on. And you know what? I'm actually going to reverse that. I think I'm going to, I'm going to increase that mask some and get less of this cloud motion happening around that area. Let's do something like that. We'll do one more preview. And I think this is going to end up being uh, sufficient where we've got a nice amount of motion going on in those clouds, but it's not too jittery. Okay, one more tiny bit of cleanup. Scott the Perfectionist wants to get that uh, top of that cloud masked off a little better so we're not having that little peak that's out there drag around. One more run. All right, that's looking a lot better. Now, one other thing that's nice is once you've generated a preview, I can now return to my standard zoom level and I can run the preview again. I don't have to wait for it to regenerate. So that's nice. Once you've done your detailed work, you can just pop back out and see the full view. And I'm looking at this and I really like it. It's a nice, soft, subtle motion in the sky. It's one of those things that will sneak up on someone when they see this. They're not going to notice it at first and then they'll go, oh, wait, wait, that sky's moving. Wait, what's going on here? This is really cool. Uh, I'm happy with this. So it's time to export it. Let's go ahead and do that. File, export as. Uh, I'm going to send this out for Instagram. So I like to do things at 1024. It is an MP4, 25 frames per second. That's fine. And I don't have to change the animation loop on Instagram. I can set it to run infinitely. And so that's exactly what will happen. We'll go to export. And then I can go to the My Exports pane. And right here is the export we're generating now. Once it's all finished, I can click Download, have it on my computer, move it to my phone, and share it with the world. So that is how easy it is to create an animation with Plotograph Pro. This would probably take maybe one third of the time because I wouldn't normally be talking through everything that I'm doing. So I hope it gives you an idea of um, how simple and you know, it's actually kind of a lot of fun to make these things.